Good afternoon. Welcome. Welcome parents, families, and honored guests. Welcome to the Central Valley High School commencement ceremony for the class of 2023. I am Carrie Ames, the proud principal of this amazing school, and today I stand before you filled with joy and appreciation as we begin this momentous occasion. I would like to give a special thank you to Ms. Kat Barrett and our combined bands for their performance this afternoon. I would also like to thank Ms. Tamron Parker Carver and our symphonic choir for their performance. At this time, I ask you to please stand as our chamber choir, under the direction of Ms. Tamron Parker Carver, sing our national anthem. Stars through the perilous fight was a red. 
Graduation marks the culmination of years of hard work, dedication, and perseverance. Today we gather here to celebrate not only the achievements of our graduates, but also to express our heartfelt gratitude to the parents, guardians, and loved ones who have supported them on this remarkable journey. Thank you for entrusting us with the education and growth of your children. Your commitment, support, encouragement, and sacrifices have played a pivotal role in their success. On behalf of the Central Valley High School staff, our board of directors and superintendent, we thank you. On the stage to greet and award our graduates is our esteemed board of directors and superintendent. Dr. Keith Clark, board president. <laughs> Ms. Cindy McMullen. <laughs> Ms. Teresa Landa. <laughs> Ms. Pam Orbaugh. Ms. Debbie Long, and our superintendent, Dr. John Parker. Thank you for your service to our students. Your leadership and passion for education are truly invaluable, and we appreciate your unwavering dedication to the betterment of all students. By the end of our ceremony, our board and superintendent and many district administrators have served in all three comprehensive graduation ceremonies today, beginning this morning at 8.30. We thank you for this commitment to all of our Central Valley School District graduates, and we want you to know that we saved the best for last. <laughs> Central Valley High School strives for excellence in all we do. We carry forward a strong reputation for exceptional graduation ceremonies that honor and respect all of our participants. We want to ensure that every family can hear and celebrate their student as they walk across this stage. Please help us maintain this reputation and tradition as we celebrate these young individuals. At this time, I would like to welcome our graduate announcers, Mr. Dwayne Barnhart, one of our business and marketing teachers, and one of our wonderful counselors, Ms. Mary Nakarado. <laughs> Superintendent Parker and board members, will you please take your places for the awarding of the diplomas? Katie Marquez. Sarthak Shrestha. Abigail Michaelis. Baden Woodward. 
Zach Azar. Ashley Hampton. Neha Kamareddy. Nils Peterson. Blake Bush. Campbell Bikert. Balkaran Singh. George Ditto. McKay Bringhurst. Emma Barker. Kylie Schneckloth. Paige Jackson. Caesar Sunson. Isabel O'Reilly. Marco Uzalix. McGregor Dawkins. Maddie Gannon. Braden Haskell. Sarah Hess. Brandon Thomas. Jamison McHenry. Amelia Shriver. Malia Oda. Brianna Sullivan. Gilbert Palmer. Jackson Talbot. Madeline Passmore. Alyssa Sutton. Landon Patterson. Calvin Samuelson. Brooke Peterson. David Ulanchuk. Julia Perez. Gavin Tracy. Alexis Persky. Daniel Anorve. Cheyenne Peterson. Ella Lamoureux. Emily Peterson. Annie Peterson. Joe Pitts. Zachary LeBaron. Paige Schneider. Austin Rome. Josh Vincent. Connor Ross. Brendan Jordan. Landon Robinson. Abigail Jackson. Leah Rosenbaum. Tinan Jang. Phoebe Jean Shalip. Hey, I like that. Andrew Jones. Anna Rigetti. Mason Hubanks. Malaya Supnet. Michaela Jacobs. Hallie Walter. Bailey Jenkins. Juliet Alhayek. 
Ileana Smith. Jordan Doyle. Roman Jackson. Noah Hayes. Brock Johnson. Anthony Sally. Lauren Williams Miller. Angel Juggy. Olivia Jagger. May Stevens. Daniel Crowley, the sixth. Thomas Stacy. Hudson Dayton. Robert Ochoa Sandoval. Mary Davidow. Nakota Norzik. Asher Zachman. Trey Moses. Lillian Clark Lojack. Will Mulligan. Grace Shar. Skylar Newman. Riley DeJulia. Faith Murphy. Erica Dewar. Alona Vaskinovich. Madison Chitwood. Tristan Moore. Carson Snyder. Trevor Gapo. Jackson Culver. Brandon Garber. Jacob Chisholm. Leah Floronovich. Mia Mendoza. Emma Frederick. Megan Mercer. Savannah Goodman. Peyton Mercer. Cody Green. Joseph Myers. Caleb Fry. Gabe Millender. Paige Yonke. Madison Miller. Kelsey Geisinger. McKenna Monks. Thomas Gilbert. Landon Minnick. Dylan Gravel. Rodney Minettes. Mitchell Birch. Madison Moore. Trace Challenge. Giovanni Ferraro. Samuel Kahn.
Houston War. Donovan Hasty. Emmanuel Angel. Elijah Reeves. Samuel Alisea Copeland. Jameson Runner. Austin Smith. Michael Bushager. Justin Anglin. Macy Chapel. Miles Anderson. Georgie Zamora. Abigail Allen. Josiah Carpenter. Ashlyn Abramson. Lily Buckholt. Moss Adami. Kyra Campbell. Ava Thompson. Justin Jennings. Robert Apple. Christian Mullen. Tanner Andrews. Autumn Agnew. Aaron Anderson. Dante Jennings. Trey Leg. Darby Anderson. Madison Layden. Jersey Donahue. Sophie Lang. Cameron Paskey. Brittany Larson. Lexia Givens Amaro. Skylar Lindy. Cambrian Allen. Adele Lippincott. Paige Harmon. Tori Weingars. Fatima Zavala. Madison Langsett. Matthew Book. Catherine Lewis. Justin Branham. Gianna LaFontaine. Trevor Blackman. Rylan Tipton. Mia Bradford. Austin Lazama. Abby Boyle. Tegan O'Reilly. Brennan Brulot. Emma McKinley. Keelan Brisney. Madeline Jackson. Nicole Bissell. Amelia Scott. Trenton Britton Stegall. Caroline Harney. Gianna Zangar. Emily Beekler. 
Lilith Branscombe. Jocelyn Clark. Landon Brewer. Tyler Santos. Sofian Saleh. Kelly Talkington. Arturo Geronimo. Andrew Brasket. Ala Terasu. Achilles Fierro. Christina Kanishku. Carson LaPlante. Carla Ortiz Vadaka. Zachary Abshire. Agnes Taboo. Elliot Beal. Farah Rabiel. Abdel Ibrahim. Billy Mient. Alexander Guillermo. Kang Wu. Peyton Gwynn. Atham Safari. Georgia Arnold. Hershen Tonki. Kaden Harmon. Jacob Bachme. Dakota Hancock. Matthew Walker. Michaela Griffith. Joshua Mega. Aliyah Griffin. Alicia McGee. Claire Worthington. Gavin McHenry. Sierra Hardison. Ella Roseboro. Josie Mitchell. Richard McSwain. Cassandra France. Zachary McMurtry. Erica Schatz. Mandy May. Sydney Fisher. Grace Melcher. Ava Duggan. Marion McDonald. Taylor Flores. Holly Meadows. Madison City. Haley McComas. Sierra Fisher. Charlotte Hill. Aiden Yeager. Haley Hilzebeck. Jeremy Elledge. Tyler Huddle. Ella Dunn. 
Gavin Houchin. Damian Fontana. Zachary Howry. Michael Hess. Andrew Horton. Gabe Hendrickson. Jaden Hollingsworth. Gunnar Hardy. Cameron Wooldridge. Mason Heberline. Hannah Holman. Brian Riddle. Gina Hoik. Kaden Williams. Nicholas Hoskins. Cameron Hill. Gavin Holcomb. Ryan Harris. Zachary Babington. Olivia Henry. Juliana Bakova. Reagan Holly. Angel Bailey. George Hedebeck. Gracie Ballesteros. Madison Hilbrick. Holly Bambach. Dimitri Truesdale. Brooklyn Atwood. Emily King. Micah Baggett. Solera Kelly. Taylor Arredondo. Meryl Caraman. Jarissa Barnes. Brooke Jorgensen. Dominic Barham. Layla West. Carly Long. Quinton Kennedy. Renner Barnes. Aiden Labras. Chloe Manos. Alexander Judd. Lane Wall. Devin Jones. Randy Lopez. Ava Kalis. Charlotte Mon. Nathan Kenny. Kira Lowry. Tevin Rash. Margaret Mathis. Aiden Renzi. Montana Lovins. Kaden Preby. Martin Massey. Kylie Ramsey. 
Marina Madden. Angelina Ramirez. Catherine Loya. Itzel Resendez. Samuel Lodge. Jolie Plum. Alina Vo. Sylvia Ramey. Emily Rasmussen. Sarah Reimer. Isaac Purcell. Dakota Ellis. Andrew Berg. Bryce Spooler. Camden Stordahl. Emmanuel Navarro. Adriana Rahani. Congratulations, graduates. I would like to take a moment to honor, I would like to take a moment to honor and express our deepest appreciation to our dedicated Central Valley High School teachers who will now join us. They have been mentors, guides, and sources of inspiration throughout our graduates' educational journey. Their devotion, steadfast support, commitment, and passion to the well-being of these amazing students is remarkable. Please join me in thanking them for all they have done. Graduates, please stand and thank your teachers. Thank you, you may be seated. It is my distinct pleasure to welcome Dr. John Parker to the podium to introduce our Superintendent Award recipients. Dr. Parker is close to completing his first year as our Central Valley School District Superintendent and he has exemplified exceptional leadership and a profound commitment to the success, to the success and well-being of our entire CV community. Thank you, Principal Eames. The annual Superintendent's Award is special recognition of graduating high school seniors in the Central Valley School District. Nominees have demonstrated personal achievement and the ability to complete goals. 
Students may be nominated by school staff and teachers or a classmate. Nominated students are given the opportunity to complete a series of essay questions regarding overcoming challenges to meet personal goals. Participation in contributions to school activities and an overall view of their high school years. As I read each of the essays, I found them interesting, inspiring, and it made me truly proud of our CVHS seniors. I'm indebted to and thank the team of staff and teachers here at CV for helping with the selection of this year's award recipients. After much consideration, six students were chosen to receive the 2023 Superintendent's Award. Please come forward when I call your name. Our first recipient, Emma Barker. Congratulations, Emma. Our, our second recipient, Mitchell Birch. Congratulations, Mitchell. Our third recipient, Braden Haskell. Congratulations, Braden. Our fourth recipient, Tyler Santos. Congratulations, Tyler. Our fifth recipient, Sarthak Shrestha. Congratulations, Sarthak. Our sixth and final, but certainly not least, recipient of the Superintendent's Award, Brandon Thomas. So congratulate one more time our six Superintendent Award winners, please. Please join me in welcoming our ASB leadership team to share a collective student message. Our leadership students have done amazing work this year, and they are Sarthak Shretha, Baden Woodward, Ashley Hampton, Niels Peterson, and Campbell Biker. Graduates, parents, teachers, staff, good afternoon and welcome. When our ASB team was asked to speak at graduation, we decided we would honor you, our fellow graduates, by putting in the same time, effort, and diligence that many of you put into studying for finals. So in the late hours of last night, we began. 
With a high school experience that was so different than anything to be expected, this, the Central Valley class of 2023, showed what it means to succeed. With the brief time we have to speak to you today, we each want to share what has made the last four years of high school so great. A wise green alien in a galaxy far, far away once said, always in motion is the future. <laughs> Let's just say that this statement was proven true through our four years of high school and the accomplishments that came along with it. Back in 2019, we started out strong winning the homecoming spirit competition freshman year. Then we came back from our prolonged spring break to win it our senior year as well. From the Ruder buses to supporting our band and softball teams, to bringing big turnouts to unified sports, to always cheering from the stands no matter what was happening in life, our senior class made the motto, Bear Support Bears, become a reality. Every year we raised over $10,000 and more than 20,000 pounds of food to feed families in Spokane and made hundreds of blankets for our community. Our senior class has impacted our community. And finally, oftentimes people ask us, asked us what we would do if we didn't win the stinkiest sneaker. I guess we'll never know. <laughs> You know how our grandparents told us stories about how they would walk up hills both ways in the snow, in the cold, in the rain just to get to school? Well, we will tell our similar unbelievable stories to our grandchildren, how we ran out of toilet paper and out of about a half of a year in our school halls. We all had negatives and positives in our school and in our days and in our lives. Our school split, but we became the best bear nation to date. We didn't have a normal school experience, but we still made CV the best school in the district. What, when the world turns upside down, we made it the best. And good job, Bears. Keep doing what you do, and that's succeeding. Thank you. Thank you to all the students, family, teachers, and staff that have gotten us to this point. The success achieved by the class of 2023 extends far beyond the walls of our school. And for that, we wish to extend our sincere gratitude. We'd like to thank the board for building a new high school so we no longer have to swim through the hallways and can leisurely walk to our classes. We'd like to thank Sarthak Stressa for taking the heat so we could play Senior Assassin. You're a real one. <laughs> Lastly, I'd like to thank us, the class of 2023. Some of us have gotten here through long, late nights of studying, memorizing, and hard work, while others of us have gotten here through ChatGPT, understanding intense literature through spark notes and studying the period before the test. But in the end, we made it. Thank you for sticking with us and go Bears. As we near the end of our high school lives, we are surrounded by mixed emotions. Happiness or sadness, but somewhere in there lies the sense of fearfulness of what may come next. Graduating high school and moving on means that we now really have two choices, doing nothing or doing anything and everything, which I know for a fact each and every one of you are capable of because I saw you do more assignments this last week of high school than you did your entire senior year. <laughs> These last four years have really shown us that really anything goes as planned, but even though we all probably had the worst attendance record of any class, we showed up. We showed nothing but resiliency when we did show up to school. When life starts to absolutely kick our behinds, as Coach Bowden has reminded us it would after high school, remember to always, hide, to always ride the highs and quickly ride the lows. Class of 2023, it has been an honor to serve as your student body president this year. I know you all will do amazing things in this sometimes amazing world, so just always chase your dreams. I hope to see and hear about it from each and every one of you. Before I end, I want you to always remember, once a bear, always a bear. As hard as it is to say, this is Mr. President and your ASB team signing off. Love you guys.
I'd like to give a quick shout out to our administrative team, our Dean Adam Daniel and Assistant Principal Tim Tedderud, who are in the back of the house making everything run smooth, Shannon McGowan and Robin Barnhart on the stage who have done incredible work too along uh, for these four years with these students. At this time, our college and career counselor, Mr. Jeff Smith, will acknowledge our CV excellence. Thank you, Mrs. Ames. As Ms. Ames shared, my name is Mr. Smith, Jeff Smith, and I have the pleasure of recognizing a few distinguished groups. Our first group is our Running Start students who have completed two years of Running Start through either Spokane Community College, Spokane Falls Community College, or Eastern Washington University. Students who have attended two years of Running Start, please stand to be recognized. Thank you, you may be seated. This next group is our group of Running Start students who have earned their associate's degree this year. Graduates who are earning their associate's degree, please stand. You may now be seated. Next, we have our Bear Scholars. This group has maintained a 4.0 grade point average throughout their four years at CV and have earned the recognition of Bear Scholar. These graduates have shown a tremendous level of academic excellence and truly embody what it means to be a scholar. As I announce your name, please stand and be recognized and remain standing until all names have been announced. Please hold your applause until all students are standing. Zach Azar, Emma Barker, McKay Bringhurst, Blake Bush, George Ditto, Madison Gannon, Sarah Hess, Neha Comreddy, Zachary LeBaron, Katie Marquez, Jameson McHenry, Abigail Michaelis, Isabel O'Reilly, Calvin Samuelson, Sarthak Shrestha, and Baden Woodward. Congratulations to all of our Bear Scholars. Congratulations, you may be seated. This final group, while last, is certainly not least. I would like to recognize those who have chosen to serve our country following graduation. As I say your name, please stand to be recognized and remain standing until all students' names have been announced. Please hold your applause until all students are standing so we can pay forward our gratitude. Samuel Kahn, United States Marines. Dimitri Truesdale, United States Army. Matthew Walker, United States Navy. If we have any other students who have recently committed to the military, please stand. Thank you all for your commitment to serving and defending our country. Okay, at this time we will recognize our salutatorians and valedictorian. Dr. Parker, would you please assist? This year we have two co-salutatorians and one valedictorian. These students have demonstrated extraordinary commitment to their academics and we are extremely proud of them. At this time, I invite them to the stage to be recognized and they will follow with a message to our senior class. Our co-salutatorians are Neha Kamaretti and Zach Azar. Our valedictorian is Abigail Michaelis.
Before I entered high school, I saw it as a world of opportunity. It was a place where I believed I could branch out, find what I loved, and explore many paths. Unfortunately, I became immersed in my academics, devoting nearly all of my time to my classes. I joined a writing group and assumed a leadership role in NHS, both activities aimed at maximizing my academic potential. This place of vast opportunity suddenly seemed wasted on me. I only cared to obtain academic success, finding little joy in anything I did. Each opportunity to pursue things I was passionate about, I threw away, all to try and achieve this arbitrary and unobtainable notion of success. This mindset ultimately changed when, at the end of my junior year, I joined Chamber Orchestra. This prompted me to again begin making time to pursue things outside of academics. And because of this change, my senior year became my most enjoyable one. To be clear, I don't regret my, my focus on academics or the time I spent studying. These things were important to me, and I am really proud of my accomplishments. I do, however, wish that I had figured out how to achieve balance earlier on. When I think about my last year of high school, I'm glad that it will be remembered by the time I spent with friends, making music, and exploring different passions of mine, rather than the countless hours I've spent studying. If you love the academics and the work you do, don't hold back on pursuing these goals. With that said, don't feel the need to spend your life doing something out of obligation. Rather, try and focus on doing things that will bring you joy. Thank you. Okay, so Abby talked about doing things that bring you joy, but the reality of it is finding and pursuing your passions is not an easy thing by any means. Nowadays, it feels like there's so much pressure to have our lives figured out from an early age, but our expectations for what they will look like in our future rarely work out. But with our senior year coming to a close, it's completely natural to feel a little overwhelmed. And while it's easy to be consumed by worries about what lies ahead of us, Let's not forget that spontaneity is one of the biggest things that makes life all the more interesting. However, as unfortunate as it is, facing the unknown is somewhat inevitable whenever making spontaneous decisions. On the other hand, challenging yourself to embrace uncertainty may lead to your passions revealing themselves in the most unexpected places. For you, it could be traveling to a new place or taking up photography. For me, I recently got together with Abby, Zach, and a couple other friends, and in that moment, we all decided to do a cooking competition. Did anything come from it? Besides some of the most disgusting food I've ever had? Not necessarily. But the important thing is, we all had a lot of fun doing it. And that'll be true of any spontaneous decision you make. There's no guarantees that these acts will turn into anything that becomes a significant part of your life, but there really is only one way to find out. Worst case is, you spend some time having fun doing something you never would have done otherwise. The possibilities of things you can do are truly endless. So take life one moment at a time and trust that your passions will reveal themselves in due time if you just give them a chance. Thank you. No matter what your plans are after graduation, whether it's going to college, taking a gap year, studying abroad, or going straight into the workforce, all of our lives are gonna change. This change has haunted me. I've wondered more times than I can count if the decisions I'm making are mistakes. Recently, however, I've come to the conclusion that there's no such thing as a bad decision. Both my freshman and sophomore years of high school, I poured hours of time and energy into studying and practicing the violin. This seemed to pay off. Anyone who knew me during that time would have described me as a great student and a pretty good violinist, but I always felt like there was something missing from my life. Going into my junior year, I decided to branch out. I made an effort to do things outside of school. I got a job, found a new friend group, and started being more active. This change was great at first. I felt like I was enjoying myself. However, my grades started to slip, and I realized that I started to feel the same feeling of emptiness I felt before. I concluded that focusing less on school might be a decision that I later regret, and I took this as a sign to backtrack. I started to see my grades return to normal. Even though some would call my decision to back off on academics for a while a mistake, it was one of the best things I've ever done. It taught me that taking risks and attempting to change the focus of your life is okay. Just because this part of our lives is over doesn't mean our time frame to find new passions and explore different things has ended. 
I've learned that there are millions of things I haven't done yet that I'd like to explore in the future. I encourage all of you to try new things. If you don't take risks, you won't know all the wonderful and fulfilling things you can find. On behalf of all three of us, I want to recognize those who've helped the class of 2023 get to this point. I'd like to thank all the parents in this room who've helped their kids along this journey. I couldn't have done it without my mom and dad, and I know that there are countless other kids here who feel the same way. I'd also like to thank the staff for the insane amount of time they put into keeping the school running. The work you guys do is so important, but it is underappreciated. Lastly, I'd like to thank all the teachers in the room. The school doesn't function without you guys. You are the backbone of our education system, and the lives of every single student here have been changed by all of your advice and your examples. Thank you, everyone, and to the class of 2023, congratulations. Dr. Clark, will you please join me at the podium? Dr. Clark, school board members, and Superintendent Parker, as the principal of Central Valley High School, it is my honor to certify that the members of the class of 2023 have met the high school graduation requirements established by the state of Washington and the Central Valley School District. I would like to add my congratulations to each of you and your families for your accomplishment in reaching this momentous achievement in your life. On behalf of the Central Valley School District Board of Directors, I proudly accept the Central Valley High School graduating class of 2023 and express our pride in, the, in your accomplishment and wish you the absolute best in your future achievements and endeavors. Graduates, it has been my honor to serve as your principal over the past four years. You have not only excelled academically, but have also demonstrated your capacity for empathy, compassion, and leadership. Your contributions to our school community through volunteer work, initiatives for social justice, and acts of kindness have made a lasting impact on our Bear Nation. Graduation is a milestone, and you have succeeded beyond our expectations. As you celebrate today and over the next few weeks, remember your journey continues and that graduation is not the end, but only the beginning. On, the behalf, on behalf of the staff of Central Valley High School, we are excited for you to continue your journey and remember, as Sarthak said, once a bear, always a bear. In preparation for the symbolic turning of the tassels, I would like to bring up our ASB leadership students and our valedictorian and salutatorians. I would also like to invite our retiring teachers, Deanna Ristow and Brenda Ventress, both who have served over 20 years in the educational system. They will lead our graduates out of McCarthy Center for the final walk. Parents and families, you will meet your graduates out in front of McCarthy Center for pictures, and they will be able to pick up their diplomas in the Herrick Room. Graduates, please stand. <laughs> Ms. Barrett, drum roll, please. Drum roll, please. Parents, families, and honored guests, it is my absolute pleasure to present to you the graduating class of Central Valley High School 2023.